While we live in the middle of a global pandemic, it can be really hard for any of us to stay calm and relaxed during these uncertain times. And with school just one week away, parents, students, teachers, we're all adjusting to a new way of learning, which is why we have our guest here today. In today's To Your Wellbeing segment, we're talking to Dr. Jenna Mendelson. She's a licensed clinical psychologist at Labauer Healthcare. And we're talking, of course, about the reintroduction into school. Okay, so as a member of Cone Health Medical Group, Dr. Mendelson, for the first nine weeks, you know that all the kids are going to be doing uh, remote learning only. And so how can parents help their kids deal with not being able to see their teachers and their friends in person all the time for the first few weeks? Sure. Well, this is a challenging time for all of us. And the very first thing that I would recommend is being actively available to your children to hear when they have concerns or worries. So rather than waiting for them to come to you, actively letting them know that you're available if they're worried about something or if they need help. Um, and then when they do come to you, really listen to what they say. Try to resist the urge to rush to reassure them. Um, and also, if you don't know the answer to a question they ask, it's okay to say that you don't know. Um, if your child doesn't want to talk, that's okay too. Uh, just give them their space, but make sure that they know that you're there for them. So definitely start all that. Yeah. Definitely start all that asking firsthand. And I think that's a really big deal too of don't rush to reassure them because I think that's the first thing we want to do. Absolutely, yeah, as parents, of course, we don't wanna see our children in distress, especially when it's something as big and uncontrollable as the coronavirus and schools being shut down. Um, but actually rushing to reassure your child when they're in a state of distress can inadvertently have the effect of invalidating that, how they feel or making them feel like they're not normal for feeling that way. So it's okay to just say, I hear what you're saying. I hear that you're fearful about that instead of saying, oh, it's just gonna be fine. Right, exactly. And letting them know that many people, in fact, probably most people are feel are feel fearful right now. And it would almost be strange if they weren't fearful, fearful. It's a scary time. All right. What about if your kid says, you know what, I just can't stand this remote learning and I don't want to do it. Sure. Well, you know, during times where there's something big and uncontrollable and scary going on, something that can be really hard to cope with is the lack of control. So when your child expresses, you know, that they hate remote learning or that they want something other than what they have, that's actually a really good opportunity to help them identify what their needs are today. So I would recommend asking questions about what is it about remote learning that's not working for them, and then seeing if there are some small ways you can help them meet those needs today. You will, of course, you won't be able to fix the bigger issue, but you might be able to help them develop their own coping strategies in that way. All right, this is going to be probably a topsy-turvy year. And so um, is there a way that we can take some steps right now before it all starts so that we can be as stress-free as possible as we try and make all these changes? Yeah, absolutely. So one thing that I think has been really challenging for many people with this transition to remote learning, remote working, remote everything is what it does to our boundaries. You know, where children used to go to school and be at school and that was where they did work. Adults, we went to work and then we came home to relax. But now those boundaries are just all gone. And one thing that can help reestablish those boundaries for all of us is trying to establish some sense of structure and routine. So you can do that in terms of how you structure your own and your children's day. So, you know, just having them start school at roughly the same time every day, but also having breaks and meals at roughly the same time. It doesn't have to be a strict schedule, but just a routine. Um, and similar, similarly, you can do that with how you lay out your house. So it can be helpful if possible to have a designated area where children work and adults work and also designated areas where you don't work where you just relax. Mm, those are some great ideas of having the relaxed space in the room for not only the adults, but the kids as well and you as the family. Okay, we're going to take your coronavirus questions when we come back. They can be about mental health. They can be about health issues surrounding COVID. The number to text is 336-379-5775. Again, this is a text, not a call. We'll be back in just a few moments.